This demo consists of three things. First, we are going to provision API access, then we'll install the Docker desktop in our machine, and then we will install and run the Akamai development environment. To provision API credentials, we need to log into control.akamai.com with a user that has administrative privileges. Then, we open the identity and access application and click New Client for me. In the next screen, we are presented with a list of roles we can grant to the API client. By default, we get the same access as the current user. Let's click Next, as we don't want to restrict access for this client right now. The next step is to give the API client a name and provide access to the APIs. We are going to call it API Credentials Demo. Next, we will grant this client access to individual APIs. We are going to follow zero trust best practices and give access to just two APIs for now. The first API is going to be Property Manager, so we are going to search for Property and in Access Level select Read Write, which grants the API client access to endpoints that use post, put, and delete methods. Let's repeat the same process for the Diagnostics API. We will click on Access Level, select Read Write, and click Submit. Perfect. So now we have created the API client. The next step we have to do is create a credentials. So we click the New Credentials button, and here we have. Let's copy this to the clipboard. It's not really needed, but if you want, you can also click the Download Client Tokens and have the credentials saved in a text file on your computer. All right, that's it. Now we have valid credentials and we can start making API calls. Let me switch to the terminal and I'm going to paste the credentials I just copied into a file in my home directory called .hrc. Press Enter. I'm going to press I for Insert. I'm going to paste the credentials in a default section, which brackets, escape, colon, wq, and save the file. That's it. I'm going to clear the screen. The next prerequisite is to install the Docker desktop in our local machine. So we are going to open our web browser. Let me switch to my uh, browser. You need to go to docker.com. Then look in the page, scroll down until you see Docker Desktop and click the button. And in the next page, you should see a download for your platform. I have a Mac, but you will download it for Windows or Linux or whatever platform you use. That's it. Just double click the installer, install it and ensure that it says Docker Desktop is running. and paste my docker run command. This will run docker in interactive mode. Name your docker image Akamai and grab the contents from Docker Hub under Akamai slash Akamai Docker. It will go ahead and install all the required tools such as the Akamai CLI and several packages you can use to manage different services. HTTP, Terraform with the Akamai provider, curl and any runtime dependencies such as Python and its package manager pip the Java Runtime Environment, Node.js, and NPM, Golan, Git, text editors like Beam and Nano, and so on. As you can see, it took less than five minutes to get the Akamai Docker environment installed on my laptop, but times can vary depending on internet speeds and CPU. Let me type Akamai to show you that we have the CLI pre-installed with many packages already.